And it looks like it's going to have to be more fun to go on the packet, but what's unusual about that? Alright, it's the middle of the night here, um, so I can't use any power tools, but I just wanted to show you how good the light is, um, and also that I'm going to modify it further. First thing I'm going to do is take this hose out and that hose out. After looking at these on the net and seeing what other people are doing, they're, um, they're cutting down this top plate um, and removing this crossbar, moving those further down, and then you gain all this extra space. Like, you gain, you c I could just cut a little bit off this uh, tray and I could gain all of that space and sit it down where those bolts are or I could go even further down there is absolutely no need to put I mean how deep is this? Okay I got the tape touching the bottom this is 53 and a half centimeters deep there is absolutely no need in the world to have that much media in there so it's just a waste of space. So if you lower this tray, which is basically the table that you work on, um, down to a sensible level, I mean, where those bolts are would be more sensible, but I'm thinking all the way down there where that, um, that joint is, and I'd still have 32 and a half centimeters worth of, um, well, actually, sorry, that's, yeah, 30, that'd be about 35 if you look, they're 35 centimeters worth of depth for media, and that is plenty. I don't think I'll ever put that much in it. Um, but I will gain an extra, what is that? Well, an extra 30 centimeters of, um, of height to put whatever I want in here. Um, so lowering this, what are we going to call this? This tray, this deck, the table that you work on, this work area, lowering the work area down will be the next mod. After that, um, the other thing people are doing is they're not using this standard siphon um, technique. They tap into the bottom door down in there. The bottom door down in there. They put a hole in it and then the media just comes out of the hole. See the problem um, with using these is that your media needs to be up higher than the end, like I can't even, bear, I can barely reach that. But, um, like if we look here, with my tape measure, get it to move. I need, I'd say at least 10 centimeters of depth, uh, like um, from the ground is 10 centimeters high. Um, that much media, that's quite a lot, just to use this. I couldn't use it any, any less than that. Um, and it's probably even higher on this one uh, because the vent's up higher. So if you drill a hole in the bottom, then you can run with like a cup full of media would work. As long as it's enough to fill the, ho the hose and have a little bit in here, then um, you can run it on a lot less media. So that will be the second mod. The only thing I don't know how I'm going to do is have... Um, because I still want the fixed gun and the movable gun option. I'm not sure how I'm going to have them both running off one hole in the bottom. Because this uses two siphons. That one you're looking at now goes to the fixed. And this one here goes to the movable gun. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Possibly just a T-piece. But I'm not sure how that will work. Maybe two outlets in the bottom. Mm, don't know. We'll uh, have to wait and see. Now you might be able to see better what I meant by wasted space. Um, like, who on earth is going to fill media up to these bolts? Like, that's just dumb. Don't need it. So let's lower it down. Remove that piece. Remove that piece. Bolt the two together. Remove that piece. Bolt that to it. And that will give me the height that I'm going to use.
done. Okay, as you can see, I've unbolted this back piece and I've put it down sort of semi-level uh, where I was thinking it might sit and you can see the line where it used to be. You can also see that I gained 13 centimeters worth of work area depth. Um, so definitely a worthwhile mod. Um, this is looking good. Okay, so I'm going to modify the drain door, this one, so that um, I have a gravity feed for the guns rather than a suction feed for the guns. Um, so I've removed the door. Let's go drill a hole in it. Need to find the center of this thing so we can drill a hole in it. Just go like this. There we go. Drilling a hole. Drilling a hole. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the hole and you can see that this doesn't fit in it. Now I knew that, but um, that's the biggest hole saw that I have for metal. So um, that's what it got. Now I need to mark this and then make the hole bigger using a uh, die grinder. Okay, I need to do some die grinding. I'm going to do it in here so that the uh, shards of shit don't go everywhere. Now, if you were paying attention before, you heard me say that I was going to lower the work area first. Well, that didn't happen before I wanted to work on the drain, so it just is what it is for the minute. Now I can do this without getting um, metal splinters everywhere. Impossible to hang on to. These gloves are so slippery. Doesn't help that this has got um, like WD-40 all over it, but still, slippery as all hell. Might remedy that. This is just soapy water that I use at the tire machine. How's it working? Yeah, it's getting it off. Again, just some soapy water. An old bath towel. Not yet. This one might need parts cleaner. No, 
that's cleaned up. Good eye. Get in here. There we go. This has got a lot of resistance. It doesn't spin well anymore. Um, I'm just giving it a wipe down with some soapy water because I had the, the WD-40 all over this thing. So I cleaned this up. So now it's got, should have some grip in there. But yeah, this is uh, not the best tool. It's a bit fucked. I need a new one. Hashtag Astro Products. This is actually the original reason I wanted a sandblasting cabinet. Not for sandblasting, because I didn't really know what sandblasting was. But I knew what down, uh, I knew what, uh, I knew what down? Why can't I talk? But I knew what uh, die grinding was, and um, I didn't like getting the splinters of metal everywhere. So with this, they all stay contained in here, and um, I'm happy. It's also less noisy. I don't have to wear uh, um, ear protection. See if it fits. That's a negative. All right. Still a long way away. I'll finish that up off camera. Next step will be to fit it and install some kind of seal. This big fancy washer you see here is just a disc of rubber that I bought from the local hardware store and I drilled a hole in it um, with that. That should seal and take up the gap between these two. I want to get these threads out of here as well um, to help the flow of the sand or media, if you will. I decided to finish that up off camera as well. That is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more. If you don't subscribe, you might miss it. Yeah. Um, if you'd like to support the show, you can check out garagek.com and get a sticker. Or you can put your name or whatever you want on my garage door. If you'd like to know more about that, details will be in the description. Yeah, see you in the next video. Later.